Hi, I'm Ken Sherman, section editor here at CNET.com. Today we're going to take a first look at the Samsung Nexus S 4G. Sprint is the first to get a Nexus device. Now, of course, like the previous Nexus devices, this phone does have a stock UI, so it is just stock Android. There's no Samsung TouchWiz, there's no Sprint ID, there's nothing on top of it. So if you're an Android purist, you're really going to like this. It has the same design, a lot of the same features as we saw on the T-Mobile phone. It's going to have that contour design, so it's slightly curved here in the profile that's meant to cradle the side of your head. I wouldn't say it's a gimmick, but I wouldn't say it's something that really changed my life about it. So that's one thing that's there. Uh, we do have the same display. It's really bright, it's vibrant, uh, really nice colors. The phone, like the other Nexus, it does feel a little light in the hand. Below you have the same touch controls. On the back you'll see the camera. There's the flash next to it. The phone does not have an me external memory card slot, so you do want to keep that in mind. Sprint does add a couple things to this phone we didn't see on the T-Mobile version. Of course, like I said, it supports CDMA networks. It also supports Sprint's WiMAX 4G network. The T-Mobile phone did not support T-Mobile's HSPA Plus service. Also, Sprint does add a couple of options that only the carrier has. The Google Voice integration, Sprint is promising that will be on this phone. Again, Sprint Samsung Nexus S 4G is very similar to T-Mobile version. It supports a different network, of course, adds a couple other options. And like the T-Mobile phone, Sprint's Nexus S is one of the few Android devices to offer Gingerbread or Android 2.3 out of the box. But as far as the design goes and the basic features, just exactly the same. I'm Ken Sherman, and this is the Samsung Nexus S 4G with Sprint.